Step into the spotlight of Santa Cruz's scorching real estate market where dreams are born and opportunities await. Hi, I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert and your personalized real estate concierge. Today, we'll delve into the recent headlines surrounding the surge in foreclosures within the current housing market. Additionally, we'll explore the implications of the recent Federal Reserve rate hike and its potential impacts on the housing sector. Are we witnessing the final rate increase by the Fed or should we brace ourselves for more in the future? We recognize that this uncertainty might be concerning, particularly for those contemplating home purchases. However, there's no need to worry as our aim is to equip you with the essential context and accurate information behind these reports. If you want to stay in the know about all things Santa Cruz real estate, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on my channel so that you can get everything you need when you need it. Now, let's dive into the latest updates that could impact your real estate decisions. So, are we witnessing the final rate increase by the Fed or should we brace ourselves for more in the future? Let's get into it. The Federal Reserve hiked its interest rates again on Wednesday, July 26, as it soldiered on to bring down inflation. While mortgage rates are separate from the Fed's rates, lately they have moved in the same upward direction. That means mortgage rates are expected to remain high until the Fed's increases are actually over, much to the dismay of home buyers and sellers alike. The chief economist at Realtor.com, Danielle Hale, commented, mortgage rates are still going to stay relatively elevated. It's certainly possible that rates could exceed 7%, but our expectation is they will begin to decline very gradually in the second half of the year as inflation goes down. According to Mortgage News, daily rates average 7.04% for a 30-year fixed rate. Loans as of Tuesday, July 25th, Bank Tree Chief Financial Analyst Greg McBride pointed out even with 10 previous interest rate hikes coming at the fastest pace in 40 years, the economy has been resilient and the labor market surprisingly robust. So what do the experts predict for the future of mortgage rates? According to Danielle Hale, we anticipate mortgage rates will be just above 6% by year's end. That would be a boon to buyers who are being priced out of the market. It would also likely coax some would-be sellers off the sidelines. Shmuel Sheoats, president of Approved Funding, stated, I would not be surprised if by the end of the year we see mortgage rates in the high 5% range. Wouldn't that be great? So. How have buyers and sellers been affected by the higher mortgage rates? Many homeowners have been reluctant to trade up or down or relocate and give up their 3% mortgage rates that were secured during the COVID-19 pandemic. If they buy new homes with a new mortgage, they are saddled with higher rates and heftier monthly payments. Another complicating factor is that higher mortgage rates haven't pushed down Santa Cruz home prices. The reason for the stubbornly high price tag is in Santa Cruz housing market is the housing shortage. There are still more people looking for homes than there are Santa Cruz homes available. That's leading to bidding wars for many homes and the continuation of offers over the asking price. However, even up against high prices, mortgage rates, and limited housing choices, Americans overall still appear eager to purchase a home. 54% of consumers say now is a good time to purchase according to TD Bank's latest mortgage service index. Now let's talk about a recent topic that has been generating some concern, foreclosures. According to a recent report by ATTOM, a property data provider, foreclosures filings are up 2% compared to the previous quarter and 8% since one year ago. While media headlines are drawing attention to this increase, it's essential to remember that numbers alone can sometimes generate unnecessary worry. To truly grasp the situation, let's compare this data to previous years. In recent times, foreclosures have been at record lows. Thanks to the forbearance program and other relief options, millions of homeowners were able to stay in their homes during challenging periods like 2020 and 2021. With rising home values, many homeowners could leverage their equity and sell their houses instead of facing foreclosure. As industry experts emphasize, this rise in foreclosures is not a repeat of the Great Recession. Claire Trapasso, executive news editor at Realtor.com, explains that these foreclosures were likely postponed due to the moratoriums aimed at keeping people in their homes during the pandemic. 
Many lenders are now catching up on the delayed proceedings. Bank rate also highlights that the situation today is entirely different from the housing crash aftermath. Most homeowners now have a comfortable equity cushion in their homes and lenders weren't filing default notices during the height of the pandemic, which contributed to record low foreclosures in 2020. Let's take a look at this graph showing foreclosure filings for the first half of each year since 2008. It's evident that foreclosure activity has been consistently lower since the housing crash. While foreclosures are increasing, they are still far below the record high numbers reported back then. Another contributing factor is the quality of today's buyers. They are more qualified and less likely to default on their loans, which adds to stability in the market. While we are experiencing a rise in foreclosures as the government's moratorium ends, it's nowhere near the crisis levels seen during the housing bubble burst. The market is fundamentally strong and the increase is not expected to lead to a crash in home prices. And with that, let's take a look at the numbers right here in the Santa Cruz housing market for July 2023. For single family homes in Santa Cruz County, the sales price to list price ratio decreased from 102.2% in June to 102% even in July, which is down from 102.2% a year ago in July of 2022. The average days on market for single family homes for the month of July was 33 days on the market, which is up from 25 days on the market in June and which is up from 21 days on the market a year ago in July of 2022. The number of active listings for the month of July for single family homes came in at 285 homes on the market and the number of single family homes that sold in Santa Cruz County in July of 2023 was 123 with the median sales price increasing from 1.2 million in June to 1.3 million in July, which is up from 1.2 50 a year ago in July of 2022. For condos and townhomes in Santa Cruz, we saw the sales price to list price ratio decrease from 101.9% in June to 100.8% in July, which is down from 104.4% a year ago in July of 2022. The average days on market for condos and townhomes for the month of July came in at 60 days on the market, which is up considerably from 23 days in June. The average days on market has increased from 20 in July of 2022. The median sales price for condos and townhomes was $805,000 for the month of July, which is up from $782,000 in June. The price is also up from $740,000 a year ago in July of 2022. The number of active listings was 59 this month and the number of sales for condos townhouses decreased from 27 closed in June to 22 closed homes in July, which is down from 32 homes that closed in July of 2022. Thank you all for joining me in this comprehensive August 2023 Santa Cruz real estate market update. The Santa Cruz market remains vibrant, offering numerous opportunities for both buyers and sellers to take advantage of its dynamic nature. Remember, understanding the trends and ignoring the noise is the key to making a smart decision in this dynamic market. To ensure you stay ahead in the Santa Cruz real estate landscape, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll gain access to regular updates, expert insight, and exclusive content that will keep you well-informed and confident in your real estate decisions. I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert and your personalized real estate concierge. And as always, I'm here to help. Make it a great day.